here on GoSoutheast.com, and I'm now joined by head track and field coach Eric Krumbecker. And Coach, thanks for taking a few minutes with us. And season starts on Friday at the IU Early Bird in Charleston, Illinois, against Rival Eastern Illinois. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, you guys' you guys uh, practices uh, leading to this point? Well, it's been a good fall for us. Uh, we've had a lot of people doing good things for us uh, throughout the fall. We just came off of having our inner squad meet two weeks ago. Had some really big performances out of it, and actually some performances I would take at the end of the indoor season. So hopefully that's a good sign of things to come. And the main thing right now is just keep them healthy, keep them getting better, and, and it should be a good year. Now, so I preview the women's team first. Uh, a lot of great talent coming back in the field events as well as in the running events. And then you also have some talented newcomers. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, the women's team? Uh, on the women's side, you know, over in the, the long jump, triple jump, jumping events, we've got uh, Kim Moya and Jessica Brown both back. They are both coming off of a really strong freshman year. Uh, Jessica was our was the indoor champion in the long jump, in fact. And uh, we over the pole vault, we got Jill Schnurbush back for her senior year. She's a little record holder in the vault and is jumping really well right now and, and look for big things out of her. Uh, over on the track, we got Jerrica Lewis back. For her senior year, and you know, she's a school record holder in the 400 and 200, and is, is running well right now. And uh, on the distance side of things, Rebecca Lawson, uh, you know, was just coming off an all-conference performance in cross country, and you know, looks to do some big things on the track also. Now, I'll talk about a little bit about the men's team. Uh, you have a lot of returners in the field events, and you have some very good, uh, good distance runners returning as, as well. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about the, the men's team? Uh, you know, the men's team, you know, we're strong in the field there. Uh, you know, the jumping events are, are, are really strong this year. We've got uh, Blake Carter and Blake Smith both back in the long and triple jump. Those guys are having big falls and they're already better uh, than they were last year. Uh, we've got Reggie Miller and Jake Kent back, both, you know, in the high jump, long jump, triple jump. And, you know, they're, uh, you know, Jake won the indoor high jump last year and Reggie won the outdoor high jump. So. That, that'll give us a nice one-two punch on high jump. Uh, throws, we got Kevin Farley and, and Craig Robinson back, and those guys are, are, are both regional qualifiers in the throwing events, and you know, they're, you know, they're ready to go for the year. Uh, on the track, um, you know, our 800 crew should be pretty strong this year. We got Kurt Wood back, we got a good freshman campaign last year, and then we've added Cameron Long and Adam Shivers, both those guys, you know, I think they'll run 151, 152 at least this year, so it should be a, a good group there. Now, uh, this first uh, meet here, you, you come back to action uh, January 11th at SIU, but what are come some of the things that you look for uh, in this first meet? Well, the first meet, we're just trying to get everybody up and going, get them in a, their first, a lot of them is going to be their first collegiate competition ever, so just kind of get the nerves out of them in the first meet, you know, you know, and get the first one under, under the belt, so to speak, and uh, get the season up and going. You know, I just, you know, you know, it gives, the first meet gives us a great opportunity to go up and preview the, the track that the OVC meet's gonna be on at the end of February. Gives them a good chance to get in there and see what the, the venue looks like. And, you know, also we get to go up against the IU the first meet and kind of see how we stack up against them. And it's always fun when we get together with them because it's a, definitely a good rivalry. And, and our kids look forward to competing against them. Now, looking at the schedule, you have some really great meets this year during the indoor season. And then you host uh, two meets uh, this year, uh, kind of a little change of pace, you normally the one, but now fans have two opportunities to come out and see the Red Hawks. Why don't you talk a little bit about those two meets? Yeah, we're uh, hosting two of them this year. The first one's February 1st on Friday night uh, here at the Red Center. It's probably going to start about 4 o'clock that afternoon. We're having SIU Edwardsville in for the dual meet with us, and, uh, you know, should be a good good uh, meet, competitive meet, uh, get everybody involved. The dual meet format will allow us to get everybody involved with the meet and give our kids a chance to compete at home for a second time. And then the, the other one is the meet we've been having for years. It's always a weekend right before our conference meet. It'll be on February 15th this year, and it's just kind of a tune-up meet going into the indoor conferences. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for your time, and uh, hope everybody on the track team has a good Christmas, and we'll talk to you when you guys get back in January. All right. Thanks a lot.